some raccoons that came to visit. I don't know where are this little guy is from. Hey fellas. Hey fellas. Little doggy. Toby. Toby, you need to stay back. Toby. I don't know how this is going to show up. It's kind of dark out here. I'm hoping this little guy, now he's gotten back into a tree. I hope he can find his mother. You know, I'm thinking like I don't really need to touch him. That's why we didn't touch him. I got another friend out here and uh, he's a little scared right now. But, you know, he's a wild animal. So I've heard, you know, I don't know that much about him. I've heard various things. Uh, if you could, you know, if you touch him, the mother doesn't want him. And, hey, these things got hella crazy uh, claws on them, too. Trying. He's trying. Yeah, buddy. He's a cute little guy. I hope he finds his mother. Anyhow, you know what I, the first thing I wondered was? What would Durian Ryder do? The Ryder, he's always looking out for animals and he knows what to do in these situations. Uh, who knows? I'm not even sure. I'm just talking this. I like watching this little guy. But I'd be interested to know if anybody knows if I, you know. I definitely, I think, not for now. If, if I were to see him around for a few days and they didn't have a mother, you know, if they looked in a bad shape, I'll see what I can do. I don't know what I would do because the people that do dog and cat rescue here I don't think are qualified or would know what to do either necessarily, but they might. There he is. Hey, buddy. Okay, I looked at the footage. Actually, there's some cute photos of these that were some cute photos, which you'll see of these raccoon, little baby raccoons. So I decided to, to make it into a video form. Although I'll be saying this at the end of the video. Anyhow, I just, they're beautiful little creatures, man. It's just like I really hope they get back to their mother. And um, it, just, it, it just reinforces everything. Like the, the, the love you can feel for these little creatures when you just see them, you know, even just for a couple of minutes. They were so helpless and they looked scared. And uh, I hope I could convey just a little bit by my voice and uh, just the way that I was standing back, that I was looking at them, that, I would, that you know, there was no harm coming from me, that I didn't cause any more fear for them. I tried to be as gentle around them as possible. I didn't touch them. Um, I'm going to keep an eye out. If, like I say, one of them climbed the tree, I don't see the other one right now. But I'll keep an eye out for a few days. And uh, I don't know what I, who I'll go to or what I'll do, but if they're, if they're left stranded or if they're wandering around, don't look like they're eating, I'll try to do something. And like I said, just in that last little clip just a few minutes ago, I'd be really curious. Um, you know, Australia's a different place, but if Durian Rider was to actually see this, um, what would you do, Durian Rider? You're the man. I see you rescue, I, I, and I don't have the cojones, look that up in Spanish, to, to rescue snakes and spiders and scorpions, some of the things you do, but I try to do what I can. Anyhow, just wanted to share this little bit of uh, these cute little creatures with you and hope you enjoyed. See ya.